Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic... Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your travelling? Are you all right? <coughs> You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins, do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. 
Focus on the center. Excellent! That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself. Repero. someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Enchanted crystallized stone again, but what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it. These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? 
Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in, we've quite a distance to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Move a bit closer and try again. A door? Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portal container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret Rebellion. of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly, not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Lumos! What happened? 
When I move towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos.
good. did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. What you're seeing. The glow that surrounds. Oh! Oh. Oh. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a cop. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were... Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Ah, yeah. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit, but your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. 
You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said... I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. <sighs> I suppose some introductions are in order. Can I help you? Like that pool, man. Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs who merely joined us for the ride. Still? Dreadful way to go. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. What book were you reading? A spell. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not a... Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> it was good meeting you. Good luck today. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. You should have listened to me. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the... I'm Imelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skill... We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. Ha, <laughs> not the way I fly. Perhaps, speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's n Are you a keen Wizard Chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. 
Much too sedate a pastime for me. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. What do you think? I... I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. Uh, nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I... Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the f Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. I don't understand. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Every this way. I'm there, everyone... I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up! Why don't you cast Revelation on that statue and see what details the field guide... isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Lumos. Ah, good. 
timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I'm not entirely in agreement with what you're saying. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade? You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a button. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name. A mastery of Defense Against the Dark Arts is... Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of... What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a... Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. <laughs> Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival. Sp my suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor... Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare... Hmm. Well, a perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts. I wouldn't say I chose the dragons. Very well. It... Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain... Of course. Thanks. Good luck today. And invaluable to me as our... Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about... And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. <laughs> It's good to see you, Professor. Uh, did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regard? I did try to evade her questions, though I feel a little deceptive. I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely... Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was... We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will... And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster. The... Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide... Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look.
The map is enchanted to help you find... This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, you'll enjoy this. I shall reach out when I have more. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great... Let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast? This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, so, now well done. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you. This should be easy. There you go. Complicates things. Good form. I know. For your first duel. Let's get going on a quick learner. Stupid. I do enjoy a lively duel. If only all of my students were this adept. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to... S Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. I demand ex... A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards or... Uh... Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. But, again, well... All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice Let's work. Go. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, sir. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if you'll... Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. Till next time.
Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Protego! The lesson. Here! Behind you! Akio! That is not bad! You are a swift li- I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport? Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at... That's it! Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Very good! Splendid! Happens to the best of us. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Here we go! That is how it's done. Aha! <laughs> That's it. What? There we go. Impressive. Be sharp. Phew. Let's make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Excellent. Here we go. <laughs> that is how it's done. Ouch! Well played. Watch this. Very 
good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans. If you're so inclined. Well, you'd be a using word, it on if you would. to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work You on wanted humans. to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your... Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Oh, I'd prefer it if 